Hi guys, in this video I'm going to discuss the relationship between elasticity of demand and firm total revenue. And so let's start with total revenue, which is just all of the money that the firm makes from producing some good. And it's equal to the price of the good multiplied by the quantity of the good that the firm is producing. Now note that the firm faces a downward sloping demand curve, which means that these two variables, so price and quantity, they're going to move in opposite directions. If price increases, then our quantity demanded decreases, and if price decreases, then quantity demanded increases. What this means essentially is that we have a hard time understanding what happens to our total revenue if our price changes. So for instance, if we consider a decrease in price, well, we will get a corresponding increase in quantity. The impact of the price decrease would be a negative effect on our total revenue because for every unit that we sell, we're now selling for a lower amount. But we also have a positive effect at the same time because our quantity traded increases, we're selling more. So it's actually not clear what happens to total revenue if our price decreases because we have these negative and positive effects going on at the same time. Total revenue could overall increase, decrease or stay the same. And we're going to get the same issue if I consider increases in price. If I increase the price, then I get a decrease in quantity. And so I get a positive effect on my total revenue because I'm selling every unit for more. But there will be a negative effect because we're decreasing the quantity that we're selling. So again, it's not clear what happens to total revenue as a result of price change. And this is where our elasticity comes in because sensibly, the answer to what happens to total revenue in each case is, well, it depends on how strong the price and quantity changes are kind of relative to one another. So if our quantity changes are quite large relative to our price changes, then the effect associated with that quantity change will be dominant and kind of vice versa. And actually our elasticity of demand is exactly the measure that tracks these considerations. So formally, our elasticity of demand is going to be the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. We're going to call demand elastic if for some price change, the percentage change in quantity is larger than the percentage change in price. So basically price moves a little bit and quantity reacts kind of proportionately more to that price change. If you are more used to understanding elasticity of demand in terms of numbers, this will mean that our elasticity in absolute value will be greater than one since the numerator of our elasticity will be larger in absolute value than the denominator. Okay, so let's think about what happens to our total revenue when price changes if our demand is elastic. Well, if we had a price decrease, for instance, there will be some negative pressure on total revenue because of that price change. But if our demand is elastic, this change is going to be quite weak in comparison to the effects of the positive change in the quantity demanded. The increase in quantity demanded because of that price change will be proportionately larger. This means that overall our total revenue will increase just because it's the positive effect that will be stronger. If we had a price increase on the other hand, although we have some positive effect on total revenue because the price increased, it is the quantity effect that is going to be dominant and the quantity decreases. This negative effect will be stronger and overall we get a decrease in total revenue. So that's when demand is elastic, but let's now think about what happens when demand is inelastic. Well, demand will be inelastic if the percentage change in quantity is smaller than the percentage change in price. So price moves around and the quantity demanded doesn't change so much. Our elasticity in absolute value here will be less than one since the numerator in absolute value will be less than our denominator. In terms of our total revenue, we're going to get the opposite effect of what we had if it were the case that demand were elastic. In this case, our price changes are going to be the dominant effect. So if we had a price decrease, for instance, the negative effect of the price change is going to be stronger in comparison to any positive effect of quantity increases. So total revenue will overall decrease just because that negative effect of the decrease will be the stronger effect. If we had a price increase on the other hand, then quantity would decrease, but it is the price increase that would be the dominant effect. And so overall, we would expect total revenue to increase as a result of the price change. Okay, that's it. That's the relationship between total revenue and elasticity. I hope that made sense. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please check out my channel and my other videos. Hope you guys are having fun.